Hey everyone, it's Sandy here with Beauty 30, and today I want to do an Ipsy unbagging. So today I have the October bag, and this is um, just like a little kind of lace looking bag. Let me see if I can zoom in and get a clear picture. It's kind of, it doesn't feel like lace, it feels more like, kind of like raincoat material, but it's like a burgundy color. It's pretty true to the picture the picture or the colors coming in pretty clearly so that's pretty much what the color is so let's just unbag it and see what we got going on I've actually had this for a while um, I've been kind of sick for like a week so I've been wanting to do this video and I'm finally starting to feel better so I decided I would do it today I should be getting my other bag pretty soon but I've had this sitting for like a couple weeks and Sorry, my neighbor's like out there weaving. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Anyways, um, so the first thing is the Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion, and shows you a makeup look that you can do with it. So I looked at this a little bit already, and it looks like it's just a basic black pencil, which everyone's got basic black pencils. I would like to see more colors, like more of these, like purplish and blue ones from um, from Ipsy. And I actually filled out a couple surveys. You know how they send you surveys once in a while through your inbox, and they'll say like, "What preferences do you have for products and colors and blah blah blah." So I did that. And I was thinking that, you know, maybe I would get more products that I'm into. I'm pretty happy with Ipsy for the most part. Um, I've been subscribed with Ipsy for, oh, I'd say like a year and a half, going on two years probably. And overall, I think it's definitely worth $10 a month. Like, I don't think I would pay over $10 a month. Like, if they were to up the price, um, I would probably consider dropping it and just going with another company. Um... But yeah, $10 a month, um, it's worth it to get, you know, name brand products, high end name brand products. And yeah, you get to try out all kinds of neat products that I otherwise wouldn't buy. So I get to see, you know, what these other, these high end brands are all about and choose if I want to spend, you know, $40 on a, a product or $30 or even $20. Like I'm super frugal about beauty products and things like that. And I really like to get the most for my money and I even do like a lot of um, reviews with Dollar Tree products and I use a lot of Dollar Tree products because they do have a lot of name brand stuff. Um, my skin probably looks a little bit um, tan right now. I don't know. It kind of looks a little shimmery for some reason. The lighting's kind of weird. Um, but my skin's been holding my tan from somewhere really well and my foundation doesn't exactly match, but it's probably because I have a little bit of bronzer on. But yeah, I, for some reason my my skin's been holding color really well lately. And I only tanned like, I went to the tanning booth like twice this summer. So, but I was out in the sun a lot. Like I was out with the kids and just sitting in the sun while they would play and go in the pool and stuff like that. and. So I did a lot of that, sitting in the sun and stuff, and like going to um, like little events and stuff with them, like just mainly just park events, like going to the park. Um, we have this really cool park. This it's like a water park. It's a public park, but it's like a really cool park, and then it's got like a water park too, and it's all free, which is pretty amazing. Like a lot of areas don't have something like this. Um, there's like these fountains and they have like these sprinkler things and it's just basically like a, a water park too that kids can play in free. It's it's pretty cool. But um, anyways I got a little off track but I was just kind of telling you what I was up to for the summer and why my skin's kind of holding this tan. Um, you could probably hear it in my voice that I'm still getting over being sick. Um, I've been sick for like a week. I woke up one morning and my throat just felt really weird. Like I had my tonsils out like um about 10 years ago so usually I don't get sore throats but this time I did get a sore throat and it was kind of weird but you could probably hear it that I'm like a little bit nasally and stuff still I'm a little congested so sorry about that just bear with me um so I also got this Mark Anthony True Professional 
hydrating coconut oil and shea butter. This I opened and it's it's really really oily so be careful like I popped the top off and I was thinking it had like a pump or something but as you can see it just screws off there's nothing under there and then there's like a flip up cap so it's just super super oily so just be really careful if you get this in your bag this month um, but I like to use oils like I know a lot of people are afraid of oils like argan oils and things like that for your hair and I really like stuff like that I just feel like it's a lot more moisturizing and um, I'll use like argan oil and stuff on my face and it just makes it a lot more moisturized than regular moisturizer and it'll hold the moisture better so I'm not afraid to use that kind of stuff and you could even use like baby oil on your face like um, just put a little bit on your face at night and just a little tiny bit you don't need too much and it'll definitely keep your face moisturized and hydrated so um, this smells really good like coconut it's almost like if you guys have ever tried the body shop um, they have these body butters and there's one that's awesome it comes in a big old uh, container about that big and um, if you go to I think it's thebodyshop.com or bodyshop.com you can see all of their natural products and things like that um, they also have um, independent consultants or whatever they call it sales reps so you could sign up for a kit and be a sales rep for them it's a really good company and if I were to ever do something like that I'd probably definitely lean towards that one or um, there's also another skincare company that I've been looking into but they're really expensive for the products so I would hate like I don't know I'm I'm really thinking about getting into that one I know two people that are into that one um, and I wish I could think of what the name is, but a lot of people are selling it these days. Um, it was developed by two women that develop ProActive. Um, so, but the, the products are very expensive. They're really super good, but they're really expensive. So I would feel bad like promoting these really expensive products. And I don't know, just I, I think something on the lower scale would be more my cup of tea in a way because... I wouldn't feel so bad promoting, you know, products that are less money. They're, the Body Shop products are around like $10, $15, $20 ish. Those are all really reasonable in price. Um, but, anyways, yeah, if you get a chance, try that body butter out, the coconut body butter by the Body Shop. Um, and this is, this smells just like it. And it kind of like, it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily. It just has a kind of a dry consistency. So it's not like a real oily finish. Um, so you could probably use that on your face and if you wanted to. Um, I'm not really sure if it's for specific, specifically for your hair or... I know that he does make hair products. So I'm assuming it is for hair, yes. Depending on hair length or thickness, apply to dry and damp. Damp or dry hair and distribute evenly from ends from roots to ends do not rinse out style as usual so yes it's a hair product so um like a lot of products so you can use it for your skin or your hair um there's this other product that i use a lot of called bio silk if you guys have ever tried that it works great for your skin great for your hair um it's a salon product so it's only sold in salons but it comes sometimes in a real little container about that big but it's like ten dollars for the real little one um, but that'll last for a really long time. You just need like a couple little drops. So if you ever have a chance to check that out, definitely do that because that is a great product for a lot of different uses. Um, and I'll try to leave a link below to these products too if you guys would like to purchase these specific products that I'm talking about um, or sign up for an Ipsy bag. I'll try to leave a link for those things on the bottom of this video. So we got a JM Solution, never heard of that company, Water Luminous Jelly Cleanser, haven't tried that before, but I probably will use this, let's see if it smells good, if I can get the little thing off, that does smell pretty good. It kind of smells like ivory soap a little bit. It doesn't have like a real bold scent. It has kind of a natural smell to it. A natural soap smell. 
Then we have Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. I don't have any of these lid primers, so this is pretty cool. Kind of just looks like regular concealer, and I basically just use concealer for a lid primer, so I'll probably try this out though and see how it works, and maybe it'll make my eye makeup stay better, because I have a problem with eye makeup staying. So I don't know if I need to like try out some ones that are like lasting finish or like 12 hour staying power or something like that, like Re Revlon Color Stay type products or I don't know, other ones. I usually tend to buy a lot of like drugstore type products like Revlon, Maybelline, CoverGirl, um, Elf, what are the other ones, Wet n Wild. Um, I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup because I know that you can buy the lower end stuff and it works just as good a lot of times. Um, it's all about how you do your base, how you moisturize your skin, how you maintain your skin because at the end of the day that's basically um, your, your basic canvas for anything that you put on your face. If your skin doesn't look good underneath, your skin isn't going to look good with makeup on. So. Um, that's the most important thing is to take care of your skin first and worry about the other stuff, you know, after that. Skincare is like the most important thing um, when it comes to beauty products. So anyways, I hope that was somewhat helpful and maybe if you didn't get your bag yet, you can see what is possibly in your bag for this month. Um, when I get my other bag, I will definitely do um, uh, an unbagging and I'll probably try to eventually do a review on some of these Ipsy products. Like I said, I have had Ipsy for over a year and a half. Been super satisfied with the company. Um, this is one of the only box type companies that I've gone with. I have done the Walmart one um, and I've also done the Target one. Uh, both those are pretty good too. The Walmart one is only $5 a month if you would like to sign up for that one and you're basically just paying for shipping for that one. Um, so it's just basically products like new products that are coming out in Walmart, new beauty type products or grooming type products, um, shampoos, conditioners, makeup type products and things like that. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.